So I end up being back because I ran out of space. So I'm going to cut it there and this is part two of my tutorial on how to import models and all that jargon. I am doing a video into HitFilm. So given this isn't going to be too close, I don't need to be too anal, but I'm going to be. Um, Z. See, you see that? It's annoying me. So I might just move him over. There we go. Um. So now we need head. New figure head. EAD Well it's just standard head with nothing on it. Head with big lot no Ah, what am I doing? I could just put this on there anyway. And didn't run the wrong way. Yeah. I think I would have wanted to know anyway. Now I need hair. What am I doing? To go one more down. Ah, oh, no wonder. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I should have this on. It just makes it easier. There we go. A lot easier. So, now, I might just get some stuff, now I'll just import them later and then I can move them around. So save, file, this is, this is the important bit, file, export, 3D studio, and get it somewhere where you want it, so I need more room, video, I uh, CGI, so I got a folder for that, and Lego CG, and I go. I don't, I'm not too sure about my spelling, so let me go with S. Ah, so yeah, what do you mean by my spelling? It sucks. Alrighty, so that's that saved. Now over here. You go import, you won't find it. So you need to go little sidebar, 3D model, and here we are. Open. Voila, right? Thinking great. Now the problem, you just want, in case you want to animate it, you want them all on the individual transform. Now materials, it's a real pain. Now I've only got one, two, three, three materials, but you've got, I think you got it from all the bricks. So, you just gotta find them. I think they're normally close to the top. And you just gotta do that by clicking through. And you keep an eye on, see there? There we go. So now, we want to go Shininess a bit. Don't know. 
I'll be back, but you won't know I'm gone because I just got a message to you, cooked, so I'll be back. Bye. Well, dinner was actually quite yum, so that's good. Anyway, we're changing this, so I like to change some of it up. Now, where are we? We want to change that up a little bit. Oh, it's hard. Anyway, F2 is rename, I think. Hmm. Wait. This for when you can come back to it. Because it's a bit hard to see just with that one material on the corners there. Here we go. It's a. And then. Dark. Um, That's better. Or should I go auto smoothing? Yeah. Auto smoothing looks better. So, that's our model. Much easier to see now. So, I think I put these at 15. Shininess. Up. Yeah, that looks like a new Lego, I guess. Maybe put that down to 85. Have this on 10, have that on 10. Yeah, this looks good. So 85, 10, 10. So we'll just do that here. 85. Then all good there. So now two more mater materials to find, I think. And I've got the hiccups. Should be fun. Hmm. Light blueish grey. I like to make sure these are all that, so it keeps the colour nice and well. It's a bit harder to see. Um, but just do all the same settings. 85, 10, 10. Yeah, looking pretty good. Now, I believe we've only got one material to go. Let's get there. Doing this bit's pretty boring. It's trying to find the material. But when I'm done, it should look quite nice. Now, bearing in mind, you can oh, yeah. you cannot go back to this tab when you're done. When you press the create. It's, you can change the rest of this, but not that. So you want to make sure you get everything on individual transform. There we go. So, rename gold. Spectacular colour. Now I want to just make it slightly lighter. It's got a nice glimmer of gold. And ambient colour, same as that. Emissive night cancel. Let me go that. But lower this. So it's just got a very, very slight glow. I go 45 say. So you might be able to notice it actually has like glow but it's going to anyway, that's a plan shininess 85, 10, 10 and just play that by eye what looks best so that should be it done I don't think so create new 
composite shot. But am damn. So let's just say new plane. And we want to make it like a sandy color. Ocean floor sand that is. Three D. And then you just make sure that's below that. Um, now I'm just going to scale that up a bit. So now if we go into perspective. Anyway, active camera. I want to bring this closer. And transform. And this is just very, very rudimentary, of course. And now we add a light. So you can see there. Now I'm going to add another light. Actually, because we are underwater, this should be blue. Well, it's supposed to be underwater. A little light blue. No. Much lighter blue. Now, cast shadows. And so just go control CV. I'm just doing it very, very basically. So it doesn't look too bad. That's basically the basics. But this is going to be sitting off in the background somewhere, so you're not going to really see it. But it is a pretty cool looking statue. Uh, yeah, so that is that. Now, if you get the problem when you export it and you only end up with this, your problem is easily fixed by turning hit film off, turning your computer off, starting it all up again, and then just exporting. Something I've found I had a problem with and I forgot about it and forgot about it and try to keep keep trying it. So yeah, that's that. Um, let me save it. And you can easily just parent stuff onto it. So if you want something, I don't know, you know, some effect, you can just actually get the relative position and do it there so it'll stay there. And then like if you want your camera to move, so it'll do a nice transform. Let's do a nice slide. Should get myself one of those camera sliders, and I'll pull us in a bit. So position here, and and then you see we just got nice. It would play smooth, but you're watching me do this so yeah not too bad even if I say so myself except I've got them in the wrong place but I can easily fix that so yeah saving it idiot alrighty that's that done um 
I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Feel, please feel free to subscribe and share and like and comment and all that sort of jargon. So, have fun and let me see some of your work. Oh boy, what flavor? Cat flavor.